Hi, my name is Pascal. Today we are going to discuss three reasons on why to do Smolov. If you want more information on the Smolov program itself, please check out the links in the description box below. I've run it in 2016 with great success. I think I did it too early in my lifting journey or career or whatever you may want to call it. But if you want all of the nitty gritty of it, please follow the links in the description box below. First reason to do small off is just because. You know, I get it, the program is stupid, it is not very balanced. A lot of personal trainers and professionals out there will say, hey, what's the point? Why are you running small off? You're not deadlifting, you're not bench pressing, you're not doing any other exercises except the squat. That is not smart training. And they're most certainly all right about that. However, if you want to do small off, do small off. I mean, what are the others to say to, you know, forbid you to do small off just uh, because they think it's stupid? So, um, you know, I think everyone who is really into lifting should at least have tried it at once. Yes, it is a very considerable amount of time invested into just one movement. It's three months long. But still, then you can say, okay, been there, done that. Yes, it was stupid. I learned from it. And now I'm trying other and different things. Another reason to run small off for the squat can be to break through a plateau. So you've been stuck for a year or two on the same one repetition maximum. You've tried different approaches. You've tried accessory work. You figured out your weak spot. Um, you worked around it, but still, you know, the needle is just not moving. Well, sometimes you just got to brute force things and small is a perfect way to brute force through a squat plateau because it has been designed specifically for that purpose. Now, I also think that is more an approach to take for someone who is a bit more advanced and someone who might want to break the squat world record. If you are only squatting, let's say, one and a half times your body weight and you think small off is the right way to break through a plateau, then I would probably say start somewhere else like sleep, nutrition, rest periods, um, you know, weak links within your movement, um, mobility, all of that stuff, you know, that every personal trainer will gladly help you with. Um, go through that first before you then come back to small off. But if you're already squatting three times your body weight and you still can't post that world record, well, if you're really that eager and after it, then probably it is time to run something allegedly stupid like small off to just, you know, get that number that you always were after. Last reason to do small off is injury. Now, some might say, whoa, hold on a second. Why would you do small off when you're injured? Well, it seems counterintuitive, but let me explain. If you are injured in an area that you can still squat, so especially if you have some injury from the bench press that, you know, you've overstretched some muscle or that you're recovering from that and you can still stably do a squat, well, then there's really nothing speaking against it to run small off because usually a bench press injury will also impede your deadlifting or your snatch or your clean and jerk or many other um, you know kind of exercises especially if it's a hand kind of grip thing now if it's not that bad that you can still squat without any kind of impingement pain you know all of that then run the small off cycle until you've recovered why not at least it's a good use of your time and you will go home with bigger legs and get something from your injury and trained around it because that is really what everybody does who is very, very dedicated to uh, their gym routine. Of course, if uh, splitting a nail already keeps you out of the gym, fair enough, all good. You know, do, do whatever you like. It's just maybe not the mindset that will break world records, but you know, that's, that's for to everybody's own taste. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel. Have a very nice day, and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.